Hey, this is Politics with Laura. Hey, this is Politics with Laura to where everything is politics. Whether if it's here locally in the U.S. or if it's international, you will get the true news because I use newspapers from around the world. Politicians here or politicians over there or if there's a war here or a war over there, I would make sure that you know about it. And I have this wonderful background because the stuff that I'm getting ready to get into, it's it's going to make you question our government. It's going to make you question President Biden. Now, before I get into the article that I got from Moscow Daily News, it's it's in Russian, but I was able to translate it into English. Okay. <laughs> we as the people are going to have to require more from our government. We're going to have to require more lips. We have to require more than lip service. We're going to have to require them to give us transparency because what's going on outside of these walls here or this country, oh, there's a whole lot going on that we don't know, and we need to require more from our press. The press cannot be bought off by whomever. And the press cannot be partisan. You cannot go with one side or the other. No, you must report the news. But now that I'm off of my soapbox, Biden messed up bad. President Biden messed up real bad. Now we are in a terrible state. I'm not saying that it started with Biden, but I'm saying it ended with him because what he did is is beyond comprehension. But let me get through this before I can get to the beyond comprehension part. Now, China, Russia are like this now. They're doing great in business. Now, this right here is a different works, not works, but goes with Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is what keeps this country afloat. If it weren't for Saudi Arabia and the money that we have and everything that is being traded by petrodollar or petro fiat, whatever you want to call it, if it weren't for Saudi Arabia or the Middle East, this country will be back in the Stone Age. Okay, brace yourself. Uh, three days in uh, Riyadh, that's uh, okay is divorcing Washington. Now, Xi Jinping visited Saudi Arabia and went, went, and what the media wrote about it. All right, that right there's a title. And I'm going to make sure that this article in, in the original Russian language, and also I'm going to have it translated. If it's not translated, when I put it in there, go to Google, uh, Go go to Google with the translator and then put the original Russian and then I'll indicate between what is Russian and English. Okay. All right. I like the way they have their newspaper set up because it's it's it's, it's hey, you might want to take a note from them and how they set up their newspaper. It's great. Okay. Uh the two points here are are this. Leader Xi Jinping visited Saudi Arabia for the first time in six years. He stayed in Riyadh for three days from December 7th to, to the 9th. During the visit, the country signed a number of agreements. The world media writes that the United States is losing influence and, in, and influence in the Middle East, while China and other countries are strengthening its position in the reason, region. Biden, you messed up. Bad. All right. Um, I like how they have this. They have what happened, context, what they say, the alignment of forces. 
Oh, man. <laughs> okay, under what happened? In general, companies from China and Saudi Arabia signed 34 agreements that provided a joint investment in green energy, in information technology, transport, logistics, medicine, construction, and other sectors. Among them is a a memorandum with a Howie on the construction of a high-speed internet complex in Saudi Arabia, as well as the agreement on the construction of aluminum plants in the kingdom. The parties also agreed to develop projects for the products of hydrogen fuel, solar energy, in Saudi Arabia, as they write in the press, we can talk about hydrogen plants in the city of uh, Neom under construction on the Red Sea coast. According to the Orientalist, China and Saudi Arabia are planning a large scale joint project of the coast, which could reach $1 trillion. The Riyadh and Beijing announced plans, plans to synchronize the long-term program. Uh, the, uh, the two states, the Saudi Arabia vision on 2030 and the Chinese one belt, one road. Wow. Oh man. United States, you had so much government, we could have done so much, but we were, this country, the government was too busy being bullies and being imperialists. This country only helps, let me stop, let me get off my soapbox, back to the article, I'm sorry. Okay, context. Saudi Arabia is the world's largest oil exporter and China in turn is the world's largest importer of this raw material. At the same time, Beijing is convenient, is a convenient trading partner for the kingdom, experts say, because unlike the United States, it does not impose political conditions when 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 concluding trade deals, being a bully. Sorry. The share of Saudi Arabia in the volume of oil import by China was 17% last year. According to this official Saudi Arabia news agency, SPA, over the past five years, China has been, China has been the kingdom's leading trading partner in 2021. Mutual trading amounted to $82.1 billion. In addition, in 2020, Saudi Arabia ranked 12th in a list of countries investing in China. The kingdom also became the largest Arab country in terms of Chinese investment, however, investment receiving between uh, two, 2005 and 2020. It accounted for about 20% of all Beijing's investment in the region. Last year, the U.S. intelligence said that Saudi Arabia, with the help of China, is producing its own ballistic missile and the kingdom also uh, began buying weapons from China uh, a few years ago. So, the United States has been over there for, what, 60 years? And instead of helping them protect themselves, we go over and build all these, all of these bases. Hmm. The alignment of forces. There's another one, but I think this is more important. But if, but if you want to get into it, you can read it for yourself if you choose. The alignment of forces. 
During the last visit, the PRC leader did not limit itself to communicate exclusively with the leadership of Saudi Arabia, but took part of the Sino-Arab summit with the leaders of the Persian Gulf states. In addition, China is strengthening relationships with Iran as well as Syria. In 2021, China investment, China's investment in the economies of the Middle East increased by, by a recorded 360% compared to 2020. Since 2020, China has successfully concluded a number of deals in the country of the Middle East once considering the zone of influence of the United States, for an example, in Iraq, another oil power, with construction of schools and residential buildings has begun thanking, begun thanks to Chinese investment. The United States uh, of the United Arab Emirates also prefer to develop relationships with China rather than the United States in 2021. The UAE broke off negotiations to the American F-35 fighter jet amid demand from Washington to terminate contracts with Chinese uh, 5G technology providers. There you're demanding and being a bully. But at the same time, according to experts, the United States has 41 military bases in Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Oman, and the United Arab Emirates. According to experts, China's influence in the region should not be overestimated. Now, what is behind the uh, beyond comprehension part? I changed my background because I just, I just have to get to the nitty gritty or bottom of the situation. The beyond comprehension part is that Biden has given Zelensky billions and billions of dollars of our tax money. Now, with the hopes of democracy, um, Zelensky is not or ever has been talking about democracy. Well, let me not say talking about democracy, but the Ukraine it has been run by autocrats. And we just gave the politicians just blindly giving him money. The, the Senate sanctioned it, give them money, give them money, without saying Zelensky good, Putin bad. Zelensky good, Putin bad. That's exactly what they have been saying. That is that is one of the behind beyond comprehension parts of it, and 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 Tucker Carlson broke it. Now you may say Tucker Carlson is a Republican. He's it, whatever, whatever adjective you want to give him, fine. But it doesn't take away the fact that he was telling the truth. The truth you don't have to like the person, respect the truth. Um, for almost a year, people in the United States have been told how bad the Russians are and how the United or how the Ukrainians led by Zelensky opposed them. Why on earth, why on earth does this conflict concern Americans? Oh, you can't have a military invade a sovereign country, they said in Washington, and everyone swallowed silently swallowed it despite the U.S. invasion of Iraq, Afghanistan, and a host of other countries. And, and, and it's true. We have done that. And now for Russia to invade the Ukraine, invade. Now, what they're not saying is that the United States was in the Ukraine, overthrew the Ukrainian government in 2014, and caused all this upheaval. If the United States was not in that, we wouldn't have these issues right now. The second beyond comprehension is the exchange for Brittany Grinder and the Merchant of Death. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This this right here is beyond comprehension. There is nothing that one person can say that any of this makes sense. Not a one. Brittany Grinder is a W uh the, um uh an uh, an NWA basketball player. Now, what Biden and his cohort decided was to take one of the most ruthless international arms dealers and trade her for Brittany Griner that admitted to what she did. She brought in drugs, paraphernalia, whether it was a cannabis, liquid, whatever it was, it was illegal in in Russia. And by the way, Brittany, you need to surround yourself about people who would tap you on your shoulder and tell you no. That ain't cool. Don't do that. I hope Brittany's wife can tap her on her shoulder and say, Brittany, uh-uh, that's not kosher. Don't do it. Somebody needs to put restraints on Brittany because let me let me take let me tone it back. Let me tone it back. I guarantee you now, Brittany loves America because at first she was screaming, not screaming, but she was saying that the United States, she didn't, she hated the United States. She didn't stand for the flag or whatever it is. Look, feel how you may feel. That is a feeling. But when you were locked up in that Russian jail, all of a sudden you were flint, uh, swinging a uh, U.S. flag, right? Yeah, I thought so. Now, my thing is this. Don't be a hypocrite. If, if you are not going to like the United States, if you're not going to like the things what is done in the United States, fine. That's one thing. You don't have to like it. But when you take that rhetoric and you have a platform and you put it out there for everyone, that's something a little bit different. Allow people to make up their own decisions based on their own experiences. And I'll leave it right there. Let me get back to what I was saying. Biden, you traded Brittany Griner for the merchant, of, the, the merchant of Death. That decision, you're not even considering the DEA and how they built this case to get Victor uh, Victor Bout, the Merchant of Death. So you're telling me that that. That you couldn't get a lump of people, a lump of people, Brittany Grinder, um, Paul, Paul Whalen, and other people. Now, Brittany, keep in mind, she admitted to what she did. But there are other people who did not admit to what Russia said that, that they did. They said, I didn't do that. Um, the people that are in jail in Russia for espionage, you, could, you couldn't get at least six people? Your people, you could only get one. Now, I'm not a political science major. I'm not in polit well, kind of quasi in politics. But I didn't run for political office. One thing I do know is this: if you dangle a carrot in front of people, they will bite it. You dangled Brittany Grinder for the people to see, the international governments to see that you will pick a celebrity over. A military person. You pick a celebrity over a military person that sacrificed life and limb for country. Celebrities are all over, are all over the place. Now, when they grab another celebrity, whom else are you going to exchange them for? Just a thought. Now, please, if you like my content, like, sub subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 and to 1,000. Please help me get there. Likes are for free. And guess what? Subscriptions. Subscribe. That's for free too. I'll give you up-to-date information and I use information from around the world. And I want to thank you for stopping by.